Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. A man suspected of killing an Iowa college student and hiding her body in a cornfield is due in court today. Christian Bahena Rivera is charged with first degree murder of Molly Tibbetts. Adriana Diaz reports from Montezuma, Iowa. A body was discovered early this morning. We believe it to be the body of Molly Tibbetts. The search for 20 year old Molly Tibbetts came to a somber end Tuesday in a cornfield off this dirt road about 12 miles from where she went missing. Christian Bahina Rivera, age 24, has been charged with murder in the first degree. The big break came over a week ago when investigators obtained surveillance video showing Tibbetts jogging. They noticed a black Chevy Malibu following her. Police traced the car to Rivera and brought him in for questioning Monday. He tells us that he sees Molly running. He actually tells us that he ran alongside of her or behind her. Rivera says Tibbetts threatened to call police. She took off running. He in turn chased her down. And then he tells us that at some point in time he blacks out. In the affidavit, police say Rivera told them when he came to, he found Tibbetts' body in his trunk and noticed blood on the side of her head. He dragged Tibbetts on foot to a secluded location in a cornfield. After the interview, police say Rivera guided them to that location from memory. Rivera, who lived in the area four to seven years, worked at a nearby dairy farm owned by the family of a local Republican leader named Craig Lang. In a statement, the farm said that Rivera passed a government screening that deemed him eligible to work. Tibbetts' family isn't commenting at this time, but we saw them here outside at the police briefing while the suspect was being held inside. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Montezuma, Iowa. And meteorologist Megan Glarus has a look now at your beautiful Wednesday forecast. Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Megan Glarus. What a beautiful day we're gonna have. Lower humidity levels, lots of sunshine. In other words, not so sticky. Temps topping out right around 78 degrees. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. By Thursday, gorgeous sunshine and a high of probably right around 79. Moving into Friday, showers and storms certainly a possibility for us. We're also going to have temperatures just a hint cooler. 71 will be your high temperature for Friday. And again, it is kind of dreary. So enjoy today. Enjoy tomorrow. Friday, you need the umbrella, but a little sneak peek. Weekend looks good too.